Hi. Okay. Um, I'm doing a little house on the prairie. Um, I'm going to break it down a lot. So it might be a long video, but I'll try to keep it short. Okay. Um, the star of the show were Michael Landon, Karen Grassley, and Melissa Gilbert. And there were a lot of other players, too. I guess everybody was kind of a star in their own right because, as usual, with an ensemble drama, you need all the people to make it work. But the star really was Melissa Gilbert because she played Laura Ingalls. Um, and actually, a bit of backstage news or whatever. Um, she was always, always Michael Landon's favorite. And you can just tell, I mean, in the pictures and the, the way they acted on the show. Um, once again, I was introduced to it when I was a little kid. But um, it really took hold when I was about nine or ten and I um you know once again it was one of the few shows um in any genre really that depicted disability in any way um because the real life story is her sister her older sister Mary was actually blind in real life now if you read the books um her sister was blind and she never really did anything in her life because I, I guess back in the day they thought that you couldn't do anything if you were blind. So she stayed in the same house. She never met anybody. She never got married. She never had kids. But of course, for television's sake, for television's sake, um, Michael Landon gave her a whole storyline, gave her a husband, Adam Kendall. Played by Linwood Boomer. Um, so, yeah, they kind of created a family for her, but in real life, that didn't happen. And, like I said before in the earlier video, um, her little brother died. And coincidentally, um, when Laura Ingalls Wilder herself was pregnant twice, and she had a little girl, Rose, and her son, he died very early, not in childbirth, but like right after with SIDS or something, which is sudden infant death syndrome. But back then they didn't call it that. Um, but <laughs> the point is, is that he died so young, they didn't even give him a name. Um, okay. The positives of Little House on the Prairie, although I can say a lot because I happen to like Michael Landon stuff and Melissa Gilbert because to me, she's a really good actress because once again, I guess the theme of today is having the ability to transition from child star to adult star with not too much trouble and she is able and was able to do that uh, pretty pretty flawlessly so hats off to her um all right so i'll break down the characters for you um and it's kind of a bit incestuous but not in the way you think it is um melissa gilbert was adopted by her mother and, and father because her mother didn't want her so she was adopted by her parents um and they also adopted her younger brother jonathan which also played her nemesis well one of her nemesis um willie olsen on the series now the name in real life is not olsen but it was something similar to that and they really did have a contentious relationship <laughs> So, that part is true. But Nellie Olsen, played by Allison Arngrim, uh, she said that during the run of the series, she didn't like being the bad girl, kind of, because people would hate her in the street and say, I hate you and all the stuff that you would do to characters you don't like. But 
later on, she said she grew to love being the bad girl because when you're a bad girl, you can do anything. And it's kind of you don't need any explanation for it because you're a bad girl. Whereas if you're a good girl, they expect you to be a certain way. And if you waver from that, it's like, oh, my God, she's supposed to be the bad girl. The good girl will happen. Um, so. Okay, and then the other characters were, uh, Catherine McGregor, Mrs. Olsen, Harriet Olsen, and, um, geez, Richard, somebody, Richard Bull, who played Mr. Olsen. Um, okay. So, in real life, I've seen the... These are like DVD extras. I don't have the DVDs, but I've seen the interviews. And Catherine McGregor and Richard Bull did not get along in real life at first because they had completely different acting styles. But they learned to like get along with each other and work with each other's differences. Um, okay, and then of course you have the big moment, which is when is she going to meet her husband? Because her name is Laura Ingalls Wilder, so when's that going to happen? Um, that didn't really happen until season six, season seven. They met in season six, 1980, but they didn't get together until 1981. Um, and um, I just said, I was going to say Laura, but Melissa Gilbert said it was very odd for her because she was still young. And Dean Butler, who played Almanzo Walker, was significantly older than her, so it was very odd for her to kiss an older man like that. I don't know. Um, and plus, she said she had her parents on the scene and, like, on the set and everything, so I guess that's what created the awkwardness. Um, all right. There's my breakdown of The Little House on the Prairie. I'll talk about soaps uh, right after this. Uh, I got I got a lot to say, so my videos might run long today. Um, okay, thanks.